work on this worksheet 3.1 part A. It says find the zeros of the polynomial function and state the multiplicity of each. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to decide how do we find the zeros. The way we find the zeros is we set f of x equal to zero, so let's start with that. Okay, and then we try to factor it. This particular example can be factored by grouping. We could factor something from the first two terms and factor something else from the second two terms. The first two terms we can factor out an x squared out, and we get x plus 3. The second two terms, since they're both negative, I'm going to factor out a negative 1, and I also get x plus 3. Okay, so my two factors would be x plus 3, And then my other factor would be x squared minus 1. Now x squared minus 1 is a difference of two squares. That can be factored even further. Okay, so this is f of x factored as completely as possible. So now what we want to do is we want to set each factor equal to 0. So I'm going to set this factor equal to 0 and solve this factor equal to 0 and solve, and then also this one. So I'm going to put the word OR in between each one. Okay, for the first one, I get x is equal to 1. That's 1, 0. The next one, I get negative 1. And then for the third one, I get negative 3. Okay, so my three zeros are, remember your zeros are your x-intercept. So our three zeros are, if I go in order from smallest to lowest, smallest to highest, I'm sorry, it would be negative 3, negative 1, and 1. Since each, each of these factors only occurs one time, the multiplicity would be 1 for each. So this concludes this first part of 3.1.